two rooms uh, put on by Karma AV. One of them had Mark Levinson and JBL speakers in it, kind of big studio monitors with you know, the big flared horn and the big 15-inch drivers with you know a full stack of Mark Levinson equipment. And that, that room was sounding very big, very bold, and very energetic and very lively. And probably probably the, one of the most in that for that kind of presentation. When the road gets dark. we did which you'll see in the video if you watch the video for that it really gave that you know that song a sense of atmosphere and a sense of theatre uh, and a sense of I'm going to use the word special loosely because that the sound of that system just went perfectly with that song which was either a little bit of luck that we recorded that or very well done from the guys from Karma AV for putting that on obviously on a playlist so that was a fantastic song and a fantastic setup now they go kind of full scale um, to a smaller room where they've got prime they had primaire electronics with a revel concert or concerto or concerta two speakers tiny little bookshelf speakers that are about a thousand pounds each so kind of from you know very high end actually to well what well, to a much lesser more affordable level and that room still sounds fantastic i think for some people that is the star of the show for them because they're listening to such ultra high end systems to go and listen to a system costing you know significantly less to still perform at such high such high you know sound quality from that sort of system is always stand out i think for certain people <laughs> Pierce Audio, or the Signature Systems room, which was actually in a kind of a, a, a different building to a lot of the other buildings there. It's like a, like a separate building on the outside. But because of that, you know, Signature Systems, Kevin there had a huge, great big room to work in with, you know, loads of space around the Van Der Steen speakers. And um, obviously a chap, uh, you know, requested a song to be put on, his own song from his own collection that he brought with him. Never heard it before. But the soundstage, obviously, from that song was probably the largest in terms of width and potentially depth that I heard at the show. So, again, you know, big room, big speakers, but we had a huge soundstage. And... <laughs> Having you know, masses of separation between left and right definitely adds to the authenticity, obviously, of the presentation. So it was like more like you know, a real event because there was so much space and silence in between the elements of that song. So that video has come out really well. So if you haven't watched that video, please obviously go and watch that because that was a really you know impressive demo there put on by Signature Systems, uh, Kevin from there. Not so much a room. But kudos, their Titan 707 speakers were being used in several different rooms, obviously, at the show. Now, I heard them uh, uh, before, and hearing them again, obviously, at this show, they are impressive speakers. I really like kind of the speed of those and kind of the immediacy of the sound from them. And they are, they seem like low distortion speakers. And, and by that, you know, things have just got space and clarity within the soundstage, which I personally really appreciate and like. So yeah, the Kudos Titan 707 speakers, they were kind of, within the rooms that they were in, they were all standout rooms. But yeah, very much a standout product. Okay then, can't forget the Dali and the Luxman room. <laughs> that was a, a really impressive room. I got to spend quite a lot of time in there, funnily enough. Initially, filming you know, the demonstration with, with the Pink Floyd song, which was sounding incredible as I was doing it. <laughs> Then I stayed in there after and I got to film Matthias Bode from Stereo Magazine in Germany doing like a cartridges demonstration. So I got to listen to that system quite a lot and that was with the new Luxman L509X. I think it is, is the number of that integrated amplifier. It's got the looks of the 700 range, the M700, the new 900 range of amplifiers, that beautiful kind of sculpted top, that beautifully finished top in an integrated amplifier with lovely controls and stuff on the front. Now to me that's probably going to be 
a knockout star product for a lot of people because you're going to get that Luxman sound in a compact package and it's got a, you know a really high spec of about 120 watt so wow that yeah that, that was a great product really great showcase for it but then a dialy epicons were sounding the only word i can use is epic they were sounding fantastic um and really i've got a lovely smooth detailed delicate sort of silky sound to their presentation but they're also very detailed at the same time so a speaker that's been out for a long time is still you know really shining in amongst peers of such strength probably the last standout room to mention at this stage was the elac room now off their my record 90 uh, turntable which i think something like two and a half thousand pounds including the tone arm and the cartridge i think from memory that was sounding fantastic in that room with their new speakers i think their ps1 speakers which look lovely really nice quite a clever design by all accounts they are and that room was sounding fantastic let's go out and come be and what was really interesting because I spent so much time in there filming, I filmed a demonstration, then I got to film uh, Michael Whiteside from Studio Connections, who had provided the cable, Black Star provided the cable for that room. I was actually in there for quite a long time, probably best part of an hour filming all that all together. And the whole time I was in there, that room was full. And you know, a couple of people would drop out of the room and then more people would come in and a couple of people would go out of the room and more people would come in. And you can't see that on camera, but at one point, you literally couldn't move in there. It was just sardines of people all being drawn to that room, I think, because of the fantastic sound, which obviously you know comes out the door and it track, you know, as the door opens, people going out, the sound pulls more people in. So that was a really standout room, a really impressive room. They put a lot of effort into that and it was sounding great. So well done, guys, really enjoyed that. I just want to talk about some very well done, organized demonstrations. I've already briefly or already spoke to you about the Bowser Wilkins demonstration room where they went through the 700 range. That is organized and structured and practiced and very well rehearsed. And what a great demonstration that, that was. So well done, Bowser and Wilkins. But obviously there was other rooms doing it as well. Now we had the CAD room, which was using Trilogy Amplifier, Kudos speakers that I previously mentioned, Quadraspire racks. It's kind of a shared room between those. So that was my second time filming the CAD uh, ground controls demonstration. Now there was a chap in there, which you can hear talking on the video a little bit. He was literally just in there, sitting in there and listening. And we, and we set that kind of demonstration up, purposely for him, because he'd not experienced it before. And his reaction was, wow, I can't believe the difference that they've made. So you can hear it on the video. It's not come out as clear as I would have liked it, but the difference between adding the ground controls to the system Without them, it, it is massive. They're really fantastic products from, from CAD, Computer Audio Design, and that was a great demonstration from them. Now, in that same room, I got to film Quadraspire demonstrating the quality of their new rack system. Now, I'm sorry, I think the racks is the X-Rack. It's kind of got an X-shaped frame with a bamboo shelf that sits on top with um, sections that isolate it all off of each other. Now, that's their new top-of-the-range rack. Now, we literally moved a DAC from their own glass rack to their new top of the range, I think it's called X Rack. I'm sorry if it's not. And the difference was huge. The difference from that, just one component being moved, was absolutely massive. So that was a great demonstration, guys. So well done. I really enjoyed that. And I think that has come out very well on the video as well. So, um, yeah, a brilliant product there. If you're in the market for any kind of rack racking system at the moment, you need to be going to checking out Quadraspire because that is a really good rack. Okay, then. So if that all wasn't enough, we had some fantastic live music at the show. We had Vincent Belanger uh, playing his cello. I think. So I filmed a whole sort of pre-organized uh, session with him, like a live session where he played some music and spoke about audio note music. So that was a great th thing to do. Now, I literally was at the very back of the room, probably not in the best place for sound. But again, um, it's come out pretty good. I must say a big thank you to John Dran Kavlakoglu. 
I hope I said that correctly, John Jan. He's the guitarist guy who's basically provided the music for the intro, you know, the intro for every single video that I did. And he was in the Padood uh, room when they did kind of the system and, and him playing together, which I think few people have misinterpreted that. That was intended, A, for to be a little bit of fun, to be a little bit of entertainment, and just to demonstrate the fact that the system kind of, can, kind of can, you know, portray a live performance. Now, if anybody watches that video that was in the room, that will just bring back the memory of being there and the atmosphere in that room, which was electric through that demonstration. Now, the build-up and the introduction from the managing director, George of Purdue, was, was brilliant. You know, he set a great scene, like a little story, he set a great scene, and then we got the live music with the system. Now, you, you, just to explain what it was like, you've got a room full of people watching a live performance. But had it just been an acoustic guitar in a massive, great big room like that, would have been okay. But having a kind of a, a big scale sound from a big scale system supporting that live uh, event just added atmosphere and it added scale and it added kind of magic to that live presentation. It really did. And it blew everybody away. You, you heard the cheers, you heard the claps, and you know, it was really, not, I don't think anybody was expecting it to be like that. It was absolutely fantastic. And then shortly after, I got to do a little quick interview with John Jan where he gave us a little kind of rendition, which is what we've used for you know, the videos. And I got to speak to the guy, what a lovely guy. You know, I wish him all the well, and I hope he has a great career because he's ultra talented. I, I really love his music, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> If you haven't watched that video, that interview video, please do because you get to see him close up exactly what he's doing with the guitar. You get to see the skill and stuff involved and the way he knits all the music together, percussion and fast guitar. Talented guy. Brilliant. Loved it. So best of luck to you guys. I'll see you again for sure. Let's talk, talk about the standout products from the show that I would like to have at home to own or at least to get in to review to spend some serious time with. I think the first one to mention and I've already spoke about it, is the new Luxman L509X integrated amplifier. It's got that beautiful look, it had a beautiful sound. I've already spent some time with a Luxman amplifier before and absolutely loved it. So that is definitely on my list of products I would love to get here and love to review and spend some time with. T plus A electronics. Now they was in two different rooms. Cog Audio Room and another room, Ultimate Stream Room, and I, there was both different ranges. The top of the range, uh, integrated amplifier and DAC, I believe. Now in both of those rooms, I, I really enjoyed that sound. I thought the sound was fantastic. It's the first time I've experienced T plus A equipment, and that's really uh, got me interested and got me excited about the quality of sound from that brand because it was very impressive in both rooms. Oh, Kudos Titan speakers. I've already mentioned them, 707 speakers. Now, I've, I've spoke to the guys about that and have expressed an interest, obviously, to review those speakers, but they are really good. They're really lovely to look at. I love the presentation from those. So they are definitely a product that I'd be interested you know, to, to have to bring home or to have in for review. Now, moving on to another pair of speakers, the uh, Vivid Audio Gaia G3, I think it was. They were sounding fantastic and um, that, they just appealed to me. The presentation, the clarity and the kind of uncoloured presentation from those yeah, really appealed to me. Not forgetting the Mola Mola electronics and amplifiers that were there as well. Um, yeah, that's also very much of interest. But really the big one for me, and this is a real shock actually because I am not a vinyl man. I don't own any vinyl. I'm a pure digital guy. But every time I've heard a system with a clear audio turntable in it, it's been something special. It really has been a special experience, kind of a sweet sound, a rich and sweet and musical sound that's just captivated me and made me want to listen more and more. So actually the clear audio turntable that was in the sound foundation rooms is probably the product I would take home. Um, I need a phono stage and a load of vinyl to listen to it on as well. But I mean, it's difficult to know exactly what product you know, causes what, but again, I've only heard clear audio turntables twice, but both times it's been so impressive 
But uh, yeah, that would be my number one pick from the show. Just a few comments about the videos, uh, the work that I did obviously for those shows. Now, again, thanks to everybody involved who allowed me to come in and film the rooms. I apologize now if I didn't get to your room and didn't film it, or if I did come in your room and film it and I've, and I've not shown it on the videos that I've created. Now, I've tried to choose the best quality content and put it together the best that I can. So, you know, I did film some other stuff, didn't come out as good or uh, to the standard that I wanted. So, I obviously, I've not used that. So, I apologize to anyone that I didn't, uh, didn't show a room from. Now, in saying that, I literally worked as hard as I could. I was there early. I, I basically, I was there, I was at the show for two days from the second it opened to the second that it shut. And I was filming constantly all day for two whole days just to bring you guys the highest quality content that I can and the broadest selection obviously that I can as well to cover as much of the show as possible and I couldn't I could not cover it all in, in even in two days putting that much effort in and it was literally non-stop room to room to room filming 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 that's what I did now I appreciate it's not perfect um, you know I appreciate there's some limitations in what I've done and already I'm thinking about you know if I do it next year how much better it could be if I did this and did that and stuff so you know experience is you know experience obviously helps us improve doesn't it and bring better quality but overall for the 35 videos I'm actually very happy with how they've come out so some of the videos have been extremely popular some of them haven't and what I'd say to people is if you haven't watched some of the videos please go and watch them even if there's systems that you think that might not necessarily appeal or the photo the picture that I've used this doesn't seem that appealing don't ignore that. Just go and watch the videos anyway. Try and watch all of them because there's some real gem products in there. Some real good uh, sound and real interesting stuff in there. Whether it be an interesting piece of music that you're not aware of or whether it be some kit that you've not heard before or seen before. And that puts it on your radar for your own personal uh, interest you know next time you're out you know looking to buy or purchase or just out listening so you know i did put a huge amount of effort into filming the videos you know and then editing creating the videos after and just quickly on that point my editing skills video editing lighting and stuff skills are improving all the time so throughout the process of the videos from the start to the end that's got better and better and better just because you know practice and doing it more so you know stick with the channel the content is getting better all the time and I'm able to bring you you know, higher quality content. And that is my goal. I want to give you guys the best quality content that I can. So obviously on that point, I want to thank everybody who has watched the videos, especially everybody that's kind of thanked, uh, liked or made a comment and stuff in the videos. I really appreciate that. I love interacting obviously with you guys. And I want to thank everybody that's been subscribed, that subscribed to the channel within the last you know month or so because, you know, I appreciate that. That really is helping me kind of grow things. And again, the bigger that, that I become, uh, it just enables me to bring you a higher quality and a better quality of content much quicker. So really, I just want to point everybody again to the website. Please make sure you go and look at the website if you haven't already. And please visit regularly. Again, that's really, really appreciated the support there. And that again is helping me to grow the channel and bring you better quality content quicker. I want to thank everybody that was at the show. I got to speak to quite a few people, funnily enough, just general uh, you know, visitors and stuff at the show. And quite a few people recognised me, which is really great. We got to have a little bit of a chat and stuff like that. So thanks very much to all those people that came and spoke to me. I appreciated that. Thanks to all the exhibitors that put on a huge, it made a huge effort and put on a really great show. And I would say go to the Hi-Fi News website already and start looking out for details for next year's show because you know last year's show was absolutely amazing this year's show was equally as amazing and i'm sure next year's show will be just as amazing so um yeah you should be you should be getting it in your calendar already obviously for for next year because it's, it's a phenomenal experience it's this ultra high quality of sound from room to room to room to room a whole variety of systems to look at and listen to a whole variety of music obviously to listen to as well and again it's aspirational and inspirational so thanks very much hi-fi news for hosting this show thanks very much for everybody who attended and everybody who uh, exhibited at the show thanks for everybody who's watched the videos so far please keep watching them please keep commenting certainly keep liking if you haven't subscribed click one of them <laughs> and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video take care mm -hmm.